I welcome you all to the video series of dialysis rather than keeping the heading as intro to dialysis we can say this as a index video so in the dialysis what are all the topics we are going to cover to complete the portion of dialysis what are all the things you must know as an outline this video is being made hemodialysis what is it? It is just a replacement of kidney function. If the kidney goes for dysfunction either in the acute form or in the chronic form, it need replacement because without which sustaining the life is not possible. So we have to replace the kidney function where one modality is hemodialysis. So in many a places in the text you might have come across this terminology renal replacement therapy in some textbook they might have given kidney replacement therapy. So out of which three are there the one that we are going to discuss now is hemodialysis, peritoneal dialysis and third is the renal transplant. So if we take hemodialysis hemo means blood dialysis means separation in gross. We are going to separate the waste product through the process of dialysis. So that is what hemodialysis is about and it is a one form of renal replacement therapy. So if we take the functions of the kidney, does hemodialysis replace all the functions of the kidney? No. For that understanding, we will keep the functions of the kidney simple excretory function, homeostasis function and the endocrine function. The excretory function is nothing but the uh, elimination of the waste products like urea, creatinine, the metabolic waste products in the urine. Homeostatic function is maintenance of the balance in the form of blood pressure, it maintains water, it maintains electrolyte, it maintains acid base balance, it maintains in a homeostatic if it goes high, it brings back it to normal. If it goes low, it brings back it to the normal range. That is what the homeostasis means. So it maintains the homeostasis. Hemodialysis won't replace all the function. It replaces excretory function and some part of the homeostasis function. Endocrine function can't be replaced. So the intro for hemodialysis is replacement of the kidney function by the artificial some kind of procedure is hemodialysis. To understand the hemodialysis, a first year resident or a dialysis technician was posted in the dialysis unit for the first time. When he enters the unit, he will see lot of tubing, one machine and the patient. He won't get where to start, where to end. So to make the understanding somewhat easier, the whole hemodialysis equipments or the hemodialysis apparatus can be divided into four category one is the blood circuit where from the patient the blood is being taken to the machine second the hemodialysis machine the manual part which tries to bring the blood and the dialysate or the purification process which occur inside the dialyzer and other mechanical components are being clubbed together in the form of hemodialysis machine. Third is the dialyzer which is the most important part also called as artificial kidney. Hollow fiber artificial dialyzer. The last one is the dialysate circuit because the dialysis won't occur without the diffusion. For diffusion you need some water on the opposite side of the blood. So that is being delivered by the dialysate circuit. For those who didn't understand this dialysate circuit, just leave. I will explain while explaining the principles of dialysis. So to understand the hemodialysis, we are going to see the hemodialysis apparatus under four heading. One, two, three, and the four. These are the four important components. Under each component, there will be lot of particular parameter 
in the image you are seeing the hemodialysis machine what we are going to learn in this and there will be a separate video for each of the parameter the monitor adjustment what are the parameters being discussed over displayed over the monitor blood pump the pressure monitors transmembrane pressure and other pressure monitors conductivity monitors part a part b wire or the couplers whatever which, which are present in the machine how it functions the air detector heparin pump how to adjust the heparin pump so these are all the headings you have to be aware of in the hemodialysis machine first the parts monitor setting how to do how to operate the blood pump what is the dialysate flow how to adjust it sodium adjustment which is also called as sodium profiling which is very important for the medicine resident bp monitors what are the extreme range how to set the alarms ultra filtrate profiling what are all the graphs which are available in the machine how to use it air detectors how to start the machine starting from switching it on how to connect the patient how to rinse between two dialysis what are all the steps how to do the cleaning process and how to fumigate or how to clean the machine and if you are in a big center how to fumigate the hall these are all the headings with which the student have to be aware of these topics are more important for a dialysis technician point of view the patient related parameters mainly are for medicine resident which are related to sodium adjustment ultra filtrate profiling how to set the blood pump speed and all this is the next important component dialyzer in this what are all the parameter you should be aware of so what are all the parts or components how to estimate clearance how to select size of the dialyzer what are all the materials the dialyzer inside the this micro capillaries are being made up of type of dialyzer what is high flux low flux how to reuse how many times can be reused and what is the machine which is being used for uh, reuse of this dialyzer how to sterilize it what is transmembrane pressure all the important topics of this dialyzer the student have to be aware of for the medicine resident type of dialyzer and the materials is very important rest a dialysis technician should be aware of third the blood circuit under which you should be aware of vascular access when to prefer which vascular access catheter which catheter is preferred advantage disadvantage complication av fistula the criteria for maturation when to make when to cannulate how to manage the complication how to check the maturation blood tubing system what are all the ports in the blood tubing how to connect the blood tubing system what is the anticoagulant being used how to manage a heparin free dialysis is an important topic for the medicine resident anticoagulation how to connect the this blood tubing to the machine this last is the dialysate circuit so in the dialyzer on the opposite the opposite side for example if this is the dialyzer this is the dialyzer inside blood will be coming on the other side dialysate fluid will be flowing this is made up of ro water and some electrolytes are also there so we will be seeing how the ro water used for dialysis is being uh, made what are all the steps it undergo electrolyte composition bicarbonate composition final dialysate dialysate delivery system alarms which are related to the dialysis delivery system so these are all the important topics you have to be aware under each category once these four components are done other important topics include complication during dialysis what is the principle of hemodialysis modifications few points regarding av graft history of dialysis plasma pharesis hemoperfusion hemodiafiltration online hd crrt so under 
so every video i want to keep it a duration of around 10 minutes so this might be the index video so under each category whatever i have discussed so far there will be a separate video on each of the topic so this completes the index video on hemodialysis or the intro video on hemodialysis i will see you in the next video thank you